transparent, love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. Receive now faith from our living faith, he who is the love living within us. For if it was not for him, none of us would be any damn good, because there is no good man, Romans 3.10. So get ready to shine as the stars, as Daniel 12 foretold for these latter days. For the secret of love is that the rocks and stones really are crying out as their electrons and protons move a mile a minute. Uh, it does make a noise. We just can't hear it. So get ready for the mysteries of love to be explored. And let us always remember life is all about balance. And we must become a rock that the river cannot wash away by embracing our rock of the ages. I give you a wholeheartedly welcome in the name of love, the secret name of Christ foretold in Mark 4, the name to which every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. These are the days of Elijah when the veil of love will be removed. And as the rocks cry out, we are living stones within the great uh, cathedral of love that the Lord has sent. And in this hour, we must arise and be part of the same glorious uh, epitaph of love as the Lord makes evermore a memorial out of us by stacking us one on top of the other in unity of all bricks fitting together as one. These are the days of the Lord's great restoration and it is written in Acts 3 he cannot return he's kept in reserve in heaven in Acts 3:21. if his restoration does not happen I am Elijah and he was talking about the restoration that Elijah would bring millions of delusional Christians are jumping around Jesus is coming back Jesus is coming back soon 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 Jesus is coming back soon soon Jesus is coming back no he is not Elijah comes first to restore all things and if all things are not prepared his way he cannot return I don't know how deaf people are people that claim that they're Christians and they will not even say hello to me uh, this is the one world religion of Islam, the faith of God's unconditional love and unconditional uh, forgiveness over each and every one of us. So know that if it wasn't for the rocks in its bed, the stream would have no song to sing. And it's time to realize that there will always be rocks in the road ahead of us, and they will become stumbling blocks or they will be stepping stones. It's our choice. It all depends how we use them. Uh, we can see the glass of water is half full or half empty. It is all up to us. So we need to start throwing kindness around like confetti. And if we would do that, then the rocks won't have to cry out anymore because beauty will come and so in this hour everything changes even a stone and we need to write our stories in the sand and know that the Lord will take care of all that he must and his word will never return void unto him and so realize in this hour that the most successful people see adversity in a whole different way they are not uh, overcome by it. Uh, we have an overcomer living in us. And he wants us to realize that the man who moves a mountain must be begin by moving away small stones uh, and one step in front of another. 
And so in this hour, it's time to rejoice as never before, as we all get with the Lord's program. And we need to write our worries in the sand and carve our blessings in the stone. And if we will do that, then we can, we can rest and let the sand do its work. And uh, we need to realize that we need to take the stones people throw at us and use them to build monuments and monuments of our ability to do next to the impossible. We can find that kind of balance if we would but seek it. And if we would, then we will be so much better off for it. And so we must be as little children. And it's time that we act that way sometimes. If we don't, we just shrivel up and die like old people. And people, many people will walk in and out of our lives, but know that true friends leave footprints upon our, our hearts. And it's time that I announce that the light within me welcomes all the light within all of you who are tuning in. Thank you. Please like these channels. Because according to prophecy, if, if the everlasting gospel, the flying scroll does not go again to all people, to all tribes, to all nations, this world is royally frigged up and there will be seven horny men, uh, seven horny women for one horny man, Isaiah 4. So few men left alive in this world and all will end up going underground. Uh, into the caves, the rich, the kings, the slaves, the Bible says in the book of Mark, it will become days of uh, horror. And so the veil must now be ripped away. And as we do get ready, here it comes. And as the veil is now pulled away, light a candle for love, a candle for hope, and a candle for peace because it is right around the corner if people will but open their hearts. And these are the days of the refiner's fire. Let it glow and let it transform our hearts from silver into gold, from gold into platinum. And it will if we just allow it. It is only a choice. Uh, it's time for the crescendo, the fireworks of love. Time to have it revealed that the probability of finding one stone out of eight billion stones like there are people, the odds of finding one who can fulfill 50 prophecies, uh, and I have just listened to my material. I give chapter and verse for all of it. Uh, I am the revealer of all about love. Why does the way unto hell paid by our conditional love? And conditional love has always been fake. And if you don't believe that, God has a shit pie diarrhea for you to put right in your eye. Malachi 2 says that. Don't let the rock fall on you, fall on the rock. Uh, the rock of the ages. He is our star of stars. Uh, he is our majesty of majesties. Uh, Christianity has always had the wrong God, not the God, not of the Bible. The God of the Bible is the God of all mankind. He uh, loves everyone equally. Um, the good shepherd over all the flocks of man is the correct Christ, uh, who is the Lord of all people who have their love alive who commits not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit to kick the love out of them, uh, out of them. For uh, he is love, and all those who love are born of him and know him because he is love, 1 John 4, 7. So in this hour of looking at some stones, we need to become a rock and be unmovable. We need to stand tall and know that our Lord is going to take care of us come hell or high water and he desires to have the battle 
of our survival turn back at the gates of hell as it is written for he really wants to cut these days short by his word alone moving through this messenger of Malachi 3 1 I am the covenant messenger I have given the covenant 12,000 times correctly to whom it is written to uh, Jeremiah 31 1 says it was written to Israel and uh, Jeremiah 32 27 says it was written to all mankind and proof of that is Isaiah 54 3 because in these days not only is all faith uh, obsolete as Hebrew 8 says but now uh, Israel has inherited all mankind Isaiah 54 3 proclaims the rocks have cried out and the first is last and the last is first and the seven trumpets sounded out of order purposely so that God could make a way where it has seen that there has been none and he's pulling down the mountains lifting up the valleys as he unveils and removes the veil that has been covering all nations from off of his latter day mountain covered with spiritual food of Isaiah 25. The preceding chapter, Isaiah 24, shows the earth never to rise again in pieces. The very next chapter, Isaiah 25, shows that God wants to remove our uh, unleavened religiosity and he wants to remove our shame and all of our guilt. Uh, because he's shining the rays of blessedness from his shining everlasting city on a, a hill that he has not hidden the new Jerusalem coming this way and from there uh, the shimmering sapphire sea uh, the crystalline uh, uh, ocean of his bottomless adoration is coming now so he's pouring out his spirit upon all flesh because all people are his and uh, Christianity has a wrong God because they got a God of conditional love that has never existed there is no such thing as conditional love Rocky Sylvester Stallone says if love isn't loyal it's not even love and it has to be dedicated and kind and patient long suffering God's never going to throw any of his children into fire ever and ever it's all a bunch of bullshit uh, the, the word says I am your God you are my people. I have forgiven all your iniquity and I will never remember it. And since Satan was the accuser of the brethren, he was removed for you, says the spirit of prophecy for 1,000 years in accordance with Daniel 12, 1. And I am the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, who was to arise and embrace my destiny as Elijah. It is written. And not only that, now comes the shattering of the power of the holy people. Uh, because God's word was only closed till the time of the end. If his word does not open because of his message in Malachi 3, 1 to prepare his way, his way will not be prepared and he cannot return as he says in Acts 3, 21. So if people do not start liking purposely this channel, people do not start sharing this channel, this world will end up a world with no birds, no fish, no mankind left at all. There are seven verses in the Bible, a complete undoing, a complete oblivion. If you don't believe me, please look them up. Matthew uh, 24, 22, uh, Malachi 4, 6, Zephaniah 1, 1, Isaiah 24, Acts 3, Deuteronomy 18, 18. And if I thought hard enough, there is one more. But one thing for sure, uh, it's time that we get with the right program. The right program of re realizing that uh, it is impossible to restore all things unless um, un unless uh, there's revelation of revelation, which I have had. And so in this hour, it is time. And uh, get ready, I will be right back. i got to find something. Sylvester, I want to talk to you if you ever see this video. Please give me a call, 226-975-0707. And anyone else may call if uh, you're not going to tell me I'm an asshole. <laughs> Anybody could call me. Anybody could uh, email me, armageddon.owsley at gmail.com. Anybody could leave me a comment. But this world is totally a blank to me. I am the one that has done everything in, in vain. 
and so get ready for this because here's a fact about Jesus, here's a fact about Jesus that applies here's a fact about Jesus Christ that may shock Elijah. you. The probability of Jesus fulfilling only eight prophecies is one in ten to the seventeenth power, or one in one hundred million billion. That'd be like covering the entire state of Texas with silver dollars two feet deep, marking one dropping it from a plane, mixing them all up, and then having a person select the Mark 1 at random the first time. That's the probability of one person fulfilling eight of the messianic prophecies written in the Old Testament. Jesus fulfilled over 300. Here's a fact about Jesus Christ that may shock you. The probability of Jesus fulfilling only eight prophecies. Shalom. Uh, listen up, people. The Here's a fact about truth Jesus is, Christ that the fact you. about the Eliza Jesus... is, is simple. I believed the Bible, and I still do, of things to come concerning the future of God's sons and daughters and the work of his hands. I commanded him, and he turned on a light that was never plugged in for seven minutes, and it was three feet away from the plug so that I would write the flying scroll and record it and he, so that he would preserve his word. I might fade away. I don't know how long I'll be here, but I know as long as I have a breath, I will praise the Lord with all my heart and all my might. And I am hated on YouTube more than any man by a bunch of religious vipers who do not have the desire of all nations because they twisted his character by adding words to the Kingdom Age covenant that was never even given. That covenant was to be given in the latter days. It says so in Jeremiah 31.1. And in the latter days, God would be the Lord God of Israel and all families of Israel. And that was never Christianity. Christians stole the Hebrew books and then they went one step further to bring all kinds of distortionality into the world. They then said, and we are Israel, and uh, all the prophecy is for us, not for them. And that was always bullshit then, and it's always bullshit now. And I've never had uh, boots deep enough for that kind of crap, uh, not in these latter years. I believed all that stuff with all of my heart, and I was a, a king of Pharisees. I walked to one million people in my job as a credit card marketer, giving me a fairly uh, easy, uh, uh, sharp tongue, a tongue sharp enough to cut a, a man's soul out of his spirit and deflate all people before me. No one could ever win in any debate against me because the truth is that in this hour, we uh, would have no ground to stand upon no branch, no root to, to hold on to uh, when God's word is all put together. God's word proves itself again and again. God did know the future. He named me Daniel, and my name was to be Daniel, and it turned out to be that way in accordance with Daniel 12, 13. And now comes the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, because God's word was only closed, the canons, until the time of the end. So uh, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, they can keep their canons closed, but they're operating with a totally obsolete uh, faith that is going to cause the annihilation, the catastrophe of all mankind. And with the Antichrist Putin, in there. Uh, there are, see, there are two antichrists. There is the lawless one, more official, who is a sword swallower of Revelation 13, who would die by a sword. He's, he's the antichrist wannabe who's not. He's got the 666 on his wall in his little Hyperion New Age blah 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 religion that has uh, his point supposedly of Hyperionism is the unity of man, but he's got no flipping idea how he, that could ever be accomplished. Uh, so he's just a waste of breath, although the man is a genius in a lot of ways. I take my hat off to Morgan Official, even though he's a chicken shit who will never uh, uh, debate me. But uh, just as there is two antichrists, the king of the north of Daniel 11 is the uh, beast of the Bible, and that beast is the great bearer of Daniel 7, 5, who was chewing on three ribs. Now he has heard the words, now you may go eat all the flesh that you would like in his World War Z. Uh, Z for sleeping. Z.
uh, because it is World War III, that bear is awake and he's got a, a big appetite. And uh, time is racing to the point where all mankind will have to go underground. Nuclear winter will uh, uh, envelope our world as it is written in Mark IV. All the kings, the slaves, the bond, the this and the that, all of us will have, to, any survivors that is, will have to go underground according to the word of God. And then those days there'll be seven uh, horny uh, women for one horny man because there will be so few men left alive. The battles of slaughter from Zechariah will cause the eyes to consume away in sockets, tongues to consume away in mouths, and flesh to consume away as we stand as Zechariah predicted long before anyone realized that that was possible by science. And so in this hour, it's time to face the hour of love's greatest power. And know this, um, the odds are impossible. Uh, it would be like having a eight billion stones and me telling you that one of them was, was a nugget of gold. And what's the chance of anyone finding that one uh, golden nugget out of eight billion? It's almost astronomical. And yet here I am, I'm the nugget of gold amongst the rocks and people spit at me. And uh, I'm bringing forth the revelation of all revelation. There's so many things that were to be revealed. The lawless one was to be revealed in the latter days. It says so in Thessalonians. He has been revealed. Um, our identity was to be uh, revealed. Um, all the creation has been groaning for the revelation of who we are, but people don't want the revelation. It's against the rules to have new revelation, you know. It doesn't matter that I'm Daniel, that I am Elijah. So, you know, Adam and Eve had no belly button. Who's going to say that that's not true? They were created with a very great age, just as this world was. And Moses said that one like him, with a new creation gospel, would come. And that is what I have. If you want to hear it, sounds just like Moses. I dare anyone to tell me it doesn't. Just punch in the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14, and it'll pop right up for you, I promise you. Uh, and so, what revelation do you want? Uh, you know, we are angels or demon wannabes in the flesh. Jesus said we're gods. I tell you truly, the Bible says that the first are last, the last are first. We were created last because we're to be first, a greater shining than the angels before us. We are fearfully and gloriously made in the image of love. Uh, we are beings of love if we will but let it shine. But this has become a world of spiritual bigots and spiritual racists, and people hate each other because of what they believe. Uh, everybody is and always has been a false prophet. I am the only true prophet on earth. And Muhammad said there will never be another important one ahead. And he was absolutely correct because I only represent Jeremiah who was behind uh, Muhammad. Muhammad said you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand upon the gospel, uh, the prophets and all revelation coming to you. Paul said uh, that we must uh, inspect prophecy most carefully and all that's good embraced. Uh, and no one will obey Muhammad for the Islamics. No one will obey uh, the word of Paul. This world is totally obsolete, and people think they know something and they know shit. All their interpretations are wrong because we are hurtling to a world that will soon be destroyed if people will not be able to discern the, the, the truth that I am speaking. And so in this hour, it is time to get with the crescendo of love and realize that God has brought forth his fireworks to tear asunder time itself that can only happen by his word. Together, we are like a, a focused a beam. We can become like a beam of fire, don't you know? But separately, we are not like an inferno. Separately, we are as like a, a beautiful garden of flowers, but together we become as a royal botanical, beautiful royal gardens. And so in this hour, it's time to get with the program of love. I could sit here and tell you all uh, 
uh, 50 prophecies, but I've already done that on three, four previous videos. Watch the hummingbird one. Just scroll down a few videos, and uh, I present it again in several videos. I'm going to present the same material probably at least seven, eight more times because I've been preaching for two years to white noise. No one wants to listen to, to Elijah. <laughs> Because they're all spiritual racists and bigots, or they're unbelievers and they don't want to hear nothing about uh, religious crap. Uh, the truth is, people, you know, uh, the second Abraham lifted the knife over Isaac, it committed Emmanuel into coming within a moment of a moment because otherwise it only would have proved uh, that uh, God uh, did not have the capability to love man as much as man had the capability to love God if God didn't offer to do the same exact thing that he had asked of uh, uh, of Abraham and that is what happened and in this hour the trial of all flesh COVID has come to bring God's word of patience to keep us all from the power uh, of the time of the temptation not to change if we do not beat our sword into the sickle to learn the ways of war no more we are frigged right up uh, and that means uh, that we must change our conditional love, which has never been love, into unconditional love in order to accomplish that. Wide is the way to hell. Never forget that. Uh, paved with conditional love. You see, Jesus said, uh, wide is the way to hell, and most people are on it. But he didn't say why. He, it was meant to be veiled. He he knew darn well. He, 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 he held back. Uh, the Bible proves that he held back before he left. He says, now there are many more things that I would like to tell you but you're not ready yet and uh, so but he did say I am the good shepherd over all the flocks of man that is the true Jesus to which this world has never had you know when the Bible says I am the God of Abraham Isaac and, um, uh, and the other guy uh, that meant God had their back that meant he loved them that meant they were his now because none of those guys ever heard the name of Jesus uh, that will not be the name to which everybody will bow down to. No one heard the name of Jesus till 18th century. Uh, it was just a translation of Yeshua and Yahweh into Jehovah and Jesus. So every knee will bow down to love. That is Christ's truest secret name of Mark 4. And people, I'm telling you right now, if you will not get with that program, we are totally friggin' screwed. <laughs> you don't even want to know.